video is going to be for um, the week nine topic passing. Um, I don't really have a lot of new tips on passing. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, but I don't really have a lot of new tips on passing because there are so many videos on YouTube about it already um, that you don't really, um, that you can watch them all and just pick what works best for you really. So um, I'm just going to go over what I do really quick and that is I go to a good barber and I get my hair cut really really short um, and I um, like leave the sideburns and I square them off. Um, and I just go, go to a good barber, find one that will help you look as masculine as possible. Um, I go right down the street from my house. It's a great barber shop. It's old fashioned. Um, they cut your hair with like a razor and they give you like the warm towel for your neck and your face. Um, and they, you know, brush your neck with the talcum powder and all that stuff. So I go to a really good barber shop and get a really nice haircut. Um, I keep my hair short because when it's longer, it's curly. Um, as you can see, there's like a few curls starting here. Um, so that's the hair. Uh, as far as binding, um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty flat. There's just like hex there. Um, I'm pretty chunky guy, so it looks weird for me to be completely flat. Um, and that goes for all chunky guys. If you guys, um, if you, your chunky guys are binding completely fat, flat, it makes like a, like a concave almost, like, I don't know, part in your chest. So, um, the, the point of binding, it's, it's best if you remember the point of binding is to give the illusion of pecs. Um, so what I do, um, I'm a, I'm pretty small chested. I'm like a, like a B cup, I think. Um, so, um, so I don't have to worry about like buying like a binder. Like I had a 997 from Underworks and I didn't really like it. It was always rolling up at the bottom. Um, and if they're the 997, like you can try to pull them down and like tuck them around your butt or whatever. Um, but they're also like super warm and they cut in like around here and it's summer's coming and I'm, I was pretty over it so I gave it away. Um, but if you have the 997 and you're like a skinnier guy or whatever, double double it back up over yourself to stop it from rolling up and that provides extra compression around your chest. Um, so it's like wearing two binders, especially if you're a guy that wear, wears two binders, buy the 997, double it up, you can wear one binder. Um, so I just like double up on sports bras because I'm pretty small chested um, and I pull like down and to the side. Um, some guys pull up into the side. The point is to get it like, like out towards your sides um, as much as possible. I'm down into the side. That's how my chest is trained. Um, so I either double up on sports bras or I do like a sports bra and a comp compression sports bra. Um, but I came across a guy on YouTube, an FTM called, um, I think his username is Mr. Blake Ryan, I think. And if you go on his channel, um, um, if you go on his channel, he'll show you how to make a homemade binder out of a, like a compression sports shirt, like an Underworks shirt, except that he like goes to Walmart and gets one. Um, and the brand is Athletic Works um, at, at Walmart that he gets. And I went and um, I bought the same one he recommended. And I, I got it on sale for like nine bucks or whatever. Um, and I'll show you how to like cut the sleeves off um, and then like make a homemade binder out of it. And I went um, a couple weeks and got one and I made the binder that he shows on there. And um, it's actually super comfortable. Like I don't have any problem moving or bending. Um, my wife is like watching me out here freaking swinging my arms around. Um, but it's really, it's super comfortable and it holds really, really well and provides um, enough compression. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like flat, but it looks like pecs. Like there's no like give there or whatever. Um, it's super, super comfortable. I wear, the fabric is kind of slippery. So I still wear like a sports bra that's too small underneath. And then um, I put on the compression shirt 
and then I double it back up over like he shows like and I didn't sew it on the sides yet um, but he tells you to sew it on the sides but I haven't done that yet but I just double it back over um, and it smooths everything out and it's super um, comfortable and it's like like I don't really sweat in it um, so that's what I use and I'm very happy with it the only problem is like the necks on the like the sport shirts are pretty high um, so sometimes it shows under my shirt but what I did was I went to Walmart and they make these new t-shirts I don't know if you guys can tell but they have they're called high neck t-shirts and they're made by Jockey I think um, and they just have the higher neck on the shirt so I just bought um, a couple packs of those to wear as undershirts um, and I just layer them under my shirts and it hides that and um, I like the higher neck on the shirt anyway so that's what I have going on there and then I just you know layer my clothes like I put on like the sports bra and the binder um, to make it like flat or whatever and then I wear a beater and um, then like a high neck t-shirt and then whatever shirt I'm wearing for the day like a polo or a button up or um, this t-shirt or like whatever a t-shirt whatever um, so that's binding for me um, as far as um, packing I do pack um, I go I live in the Twin Cities and if you go to Lindell Street um, I get my packies at um, a place called Smitten Kitten on Lindell they're like 12 to 15 dollars depending on the size um, I wear a pretty big packy um, so I go there and I buy them and then I just come home and I put the um, hole in it with just the warm the hot um, screwdriver uh, just like you can find other videos on YouTube or whatever um, and then the tubing that I use for my STP is if you search for Troy's small tube STP tubing um, that is the one that I use in my packies and it's um, easy to make it's very realistic extreme I really like it it's super easy um, you buy your tubing in bulk and it lasts you like forever um, so that's what I use in my packy and as far as the harness goes for the packy, I use the elastic one um, that a lot of guys are using from like GeoCities or I think um, Chris from Mighty Men has made a couple of videos about it. It's the one that has the loop of um, elastic around your waist and then like the elastic ties on each side and then it comes down on like a U and you pull it between your legs and tuck it over your packy. It's really easy to sew. My wife says it's really easy to sew. Um, she does my sewing so um, so that's what I use and when I put it on it's super super comfortable I can move I don't feel it at all once it's on um, I bought a stronger elastic like if you watch the video on how to make it it tells you to use a clear elastic um, which appear like it would work well for I guess the three inch packy um, but I am like a I use like a six inch packy or something so I had to buy stronger Huh? Yeah, I had to buy stronger elastic um, to hold up the weight of the packy and the weight of the tubing. Um, but uh, it's very comfortable um, and I can't feel it at all. And the stronger elastic works really well. Um, and then the last thing I do is I wear boxer briefs um, because my packy's so big. Like to hold everything in and keep it like a nice package or whatever. I wear boxer briefs to help with that. And I found these new boxer briefs. They're made by Jockey too. Like I'm totally a fan of Jockey right now. Um, they're horizontal pouch boxers. Um, so if you guys haven't checked those out, look Jockey for Hybrid. Jockey Hybrid. My wife says is is the brand. Jockey is the name brand and the line of um, t-shirts and new boxers that I bought are Jockey Hybrid. Um, so look for those if you haven't found them. Check out the horizontal pouch boxers I got those at Walmart too um, and it's actually really like a lot easier if you're using an STP to use those um, because the the pouch is just like horizontal like you just it's so much easier than the vertical slit ones so check them out um, that's really all the tips I have for you guys there's a million videos on YouTube um, about passing um, the only other thing I really do to pass is I shave because um, men don't have like peach fuzz hair they have like hair hair so I do shave um, until it starts to like grow in thicker and then um, I don't know 
I'll probably still check. Um, but that's all I have on passing. And I will be making Gender Blenders 10 like right, right now. So I will see you guys there. Peace out.